And after a couple of videos, you realize like no one cares about the process. People just care about, I want to look like this. You should be talking about that. When it comes to brainstorming, it comes down to three sources of topics. It's the what questions, the how questions, and then the target keywords that you're targeting. So the what questions is essentially what problems are you solving? And what are the top questions your potential clients have? But let's focus in on that. Go to your Chrome browser and create a new doc. So again, first question, what problems am I solving? Next question is, what are the top questions my potential clients have? Think about recent calls that you had. More or less, you realize like 80% of people ask the same questions over and over. Right now, we're just throwing ideas. We're not coming up with video titles yet. We're just throwing random things to get title ideas from. Next question is, how does my solution solve their problem? Like, what's the reason? What do you do? And how does it make their life better? This, and this is actually, let me call this out too. No one cares about the process. It's nearly as much as you think. This, um, just to give you guys an analogy, I have a doctor friend who's a plastic surgeon, and he's been batch recording videos talking about all the ways that he does uh, all the different surgeries. And he's making these like videos, these technical medical videos. I was explaining what he does. And after a couple of videos, you realize like no one cares nearly about the process. People just care about, I want to look like this. You should be talking about that. That's one analogy. Second is when I started creating ads, testing on different hooks, I realized that the best ad was me just talking about the problem, and talking about the end result that they get. And basically the call to action is if you want to, if you want to get this end result, click the button below to see whether we can help you. Click the button below to find out if you're, how much your case would be worth. Click the button below to find out what this middle part is. And I never shared it with them the middle part. I and mean, when I switch the language into the problem solution without the middle part, that's when people really started doing well. But most people, when they don't have anything else to talk about, they talk about that middle part and most people get turned off by that middle part. But don't care about the process or the plan. They just want the end result. So have that in mind. But for now, how does your solution solve their problem? What do you do for them? What's the end result you get for them? And if this is kind of like what results. Last one is target keywords. These are keywords that people, when they search for you, what do they put into Google and YouTube? You can just throw in things and then now we're gonna, I'll show you what we're gonna do with this. So kind of this one document is just throwing things in there, okay? Now when I come to actually recording the videos. I'm taking these list of random things that you have on there. And now in one shot, I'm going to come up with the title for it and come up with the bullet points. And since this is 2023, we're going to be using ChatGPT to our advantage. So take one of your anything on your list, either from based on from your target keywords or based on things that you have on your Google Doc. And I want you to go to ChatGPT right now. So I'm gonna give it a prompt. Write 10 YouTube titles for, put it into the quotes. What I found from experience is that numbers do really well, not just on just titles in general. I mean, that opportunity kind of came Google ads, Google ads, if you look at a lot of Google ads, ad copies, you see a lot of numbers, but also on the top informative, informational based videos, numbers. And then second part is having the target keyboard in there. And the third part is having power words, like very impactful or powerful kind of words that really kind of makes it a something that invokes kind of curiosity. So let's go through the examples. Starting a business, the essential paperwork you need to know, you, uh, you need the top five papers you need to start your own business, the top five documents, starting a business one-on-one, 
any of these are play ball. That's one way. So I'll just say, oh, this one's actually really good. This one I know does well. So proprietorship versus LLC. What I'm going to do is take this and this becomes the title. So that's one. The other thing that we do is actually based on your competitors and what's already out there. Let's go to plan B. Plan B is let's take one of your top target keywords. Okay. The, tar the target keywords they came up with right here. So let's just say I have how to start California LLC. Okay. Go ahead and right now on go on to YouTube right now and take one of your most popular target keywords. What you want to do is to click on to open up new tabs for your top three videos and go to their channels, click on their videos and then click on popular. We're about to kind of YouTube hack the top videos that we know that's proven to do really well on YouTube. This is especially when you're starting out, you want to build a foundation of, of search based keyword based YouTube videos that do well. These are more likely to be evergreen videos. These videos are going to do well, no matter when there's no point in us trying to figure out what that is versus just going on YouTube and really based on data seeing what those things are. So let's take a look. And I want to make sure that that video is relevant for me. There's intent behind there. Somebody you know, in my field be looking to hire a lawyer for, for that particular thing. But this is a perfect one. What is an LLC limited liability company? Great. I have the title. There you go. That's exactly the title I want to do. It could be exactly the same or something somewhat similar. Another one, S Corp versus LLC. What's the difference and which one is better? Be another title. Again, I'm gonna go to his video channel, click on popular. Bam, finding all the topics, how to form an LLC in California, how to follow California LLC. Another one, see what's in here. This one looks like a automated YouTube channel. So it's probably by this YouTube channel. All right, so take a look at your top three competitors, top five competitors, or ChatGPT based on the keywords, uh, topic ideas that we came up with, video topics, is basically the way to create. Again, we want to do this in one shot, come up with the titles. So these are all the ideas, different things that I'm, in my next time that I'm sitting, these are just like random ideas and things that I'm going to be thinking about. Then when I, in one shot, when I get to the recording day, the first 20 minutes is looking at that list, crystallizing the title. I just basically narrow it down to the titles. So we have, let's just say we have this. So let's turn it into like a title on your, on your thing. Now we need to come up with the eight benefits. Hey, hope you're enjoying the video so far. If you're a lawyer and you're looking to work smart, scale fast and enjoy life, right below this video, you'll find a link to book a call to speak to my team. So we can tell you how we've been able to help over 500 law firm owners scale their law firm. Now back to the video. So if it's a number based title, always make it an odd number for multiple reasons. One is odd numbers usually get higher click through rates. That's one reason. Another reason is people understand concepts usually in pairs of three or five. I would say stick to either three or five is be a good place to start. So let's just say, just keep it simple for the sake of practice. So little if you can come on audio, you can share with me the three benefits. Well, this is a video that we actually have set to go out today. Um, so the top three benefits I would say is obviously liability protection. Uh, S Corp potential and then brand legitimacy. Good. And that's it. That's all you're coming up with. You're not coming up with any details. You're just literally the bullet points. Pretty much each topic broken down to the bullet points that you're going to be talking about. That's it. Give me your next video topic. It's a S Corp benefits versus disadvantages. And let's turn into a better thing. Should you? Okay. How many bullet points are we doing? Uh, we're going to do three. Okay. Give me one. Saving money on taxes. 
uh, dispatches fees, the fees and admin work that come along with it. And another one is. So Jim says, does the title need to have your form uh, firm location? So you can have some, I think you should have some broad ones, you know, kind of an LLC based. And then also you have some specific ones for your state as well. But I would start off with the broad ones to kind of uh, put yourself out there, get more views, and then over time, get more specific and more granular. 